back of the naturopath. How long does it take for the gut flora to restore after you've had antibiotics? <clears throat> How long is it going to take you to pay your mortgage off? How long is whatever? I mean, these are really weird sort of questions where you can't really give any definitive answers to. What day are you going to die on? Can you tell me that? Exactly. You wouldn't know what day you're going to die on. A lot of people don't know that. They've got, they're not privy to that information. Just like we don't know how long it will take for you to recover from the effects of antibiotics. So if you've taken an antibiotic, think about it. Before you take the antibiotic, do you really need the antibiotic? Is there any natural way you can treat the infection that you've got without antibiotics? It's a possibility that you may find another treatment just as good, if not more successful than the antibiotic. This is why you need to see a naturopath or see someone, a medical doctor with an interest in building the gut flora up rather than destroying it with antibiotics. Antibiotics, um, especially broad spectrum, are not discriminative. They just wipe out gram negative and gram positive bacteria. They wipe out a lot of bacteria. They encourage yeast to come back. So the length of you, of the duration of a probiotic, for example, um, you know, the, if you're going to take a probiotic to restore the gut function, and you said to me right now, Eric, how long do I take it for? I would say minimum three months. Six months seems to be a general consensus with researchers. It takes six months to restore the human microbiome after one round of antibiotics. Now, just think of some of the patients I've seen who've been on antibiotic daily for one or two years. Now, you may think I'm talking out of my proverbial, but I'm not. It's actually true. Some people take antibiotics for weeks or months or years because they're told by their doctor. That to me is like booking a holiday in Chernobyl for two or three weeks or a month, you know, just wanting to live there permanently almost. Like why the hell would you want to take an antibiotic for one year every day? I mean, honestly, it's just craziness. It just doesn't make sense at all. So in cases like that, I've seen cases like that, and there's generally not a lot I can do for that patient anymore because their whole digestive system has been so trashed and destroyed. It's disgusting. There's not much you can do anymore for them. I feel sorry for people like that, that they were given that kind of advice. But I can assure you that's the minority of people that I've seen with really bad guts, you know, uh, digestive systems. Most people will go on anywhere between one to about a dozen rounds of antibiotics in a year. I just read research that half the population in, in, in England, in the United Kingdom, half, I think it's 47%, take an antibiotic at least once a year. I mean, that's a hell of a lot of antibiotics. So if you routinely take them each year, okay, every single year you take antibiotics, you're really behind the eight ball. You know, These are the people I worry the most about in terms of autoimmune disease. Uh, inflammatory disease, diseases because once you start systematically destroying these bacteria your immune system won't like it at all and you'll just get sicker and sicker and sicker increasingly sick so do yourself a favor don't go on repeated rounds you know every or just routinely take them for the sake of taking them so some elderly people in winter take them you know to stave off disease I mean that's crazy that's looking at uh, birth control when you're a single person. You don't do things like that, you know? So the question again, how long does it take for the gut flora to restore? That depends on how long you've been on it for, the type of antibiotic you've, you know, you've taken, the type of food that you're eating uh, at that time, you know, when you're on the antibiotics, your lifestyle and stress levels, your relationship. All these things will factor how long it will take for your gut to recover. Not just, I'll have a little pottle of yogurt, you know, um, before bed at night when I'm watching Netflix in bed. It doesn't work like that either. Remember, the diet and the lifestyle are the key attributes to rebuilding your health after something has just nuked your digestive system. That's how I see it. Thanks for tuning in.